Hi there. If you are the one who wants to optimize your Power BI report authoring experience specifically when you are connecting with the big data or when you are going to provide the enterprise solutions, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to talk about a recently released feature by Microsoft Power BI team that the optimized ribbon where we are going to talk about the refresh visuals, post visuals and optimization presets. So if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about that. My name is Ajay Kumar and I talked about Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure at PCP. And in this video, we are going to deep dive into optimized ribbon. What is a post visual? What is a refresh visual? And how you can take advantage of optimization presets. So let's head over to my laptop and try it out. Before moving further, you should remember that this feature is still in preview. You have to enable it before start utilizing this feature. If you are going to come under view, over here you are going to find the same old ribbon there is nothing new that means there is no optimized ribbon over here so how to do that for that you have to come under file go to options and settings under options you would find the preview features so go to this preview features over here you will see this optimized ribbon please check this option and then click on ok Once you restart your Power BI desktop application, you would find that side by view, there is an optimized tab. This optimized tab has pause visuals, refresh visuals, optimization presets, and performance analyzer. So everything is under optimized tab. That's the first thing. Secondly, as I mentioned earlier, you can streamline your report authoring experience with optimized ribbon in Power BI desktop in any reporting scenarios. This optimized ribbon has four tools. That means pause visual, refresh visual, optimization presets, and performance analyzer. These are gonna help you to optimize any reporting scenario. Whenever you are going to use direct query mode while developing your reports and dashboard, then it's going to be most useful. All right, now let me quickly create some visualization over there, and then we are gonna talk about how you can utilize these four different tools under optimized ribbon. So as you can see on your screen, I have added two visualization over here and I'm using direct query as my storage mode. Now the very first tool under optimized ribbon is post visual. That means whenever you are trying to query big data, that means data which is in hundreds of gigabytes and you are trying to use the direct query as your storage mode over here and you want to get the data inside your Power BI desktop app for one particular visualization. So what happens, Microsoft Power BI desktop app sends query to the database and the data gets back over here. In that case, sometimes it becomes frustrating because there's a huge amount of data and it takes a lot of time. If you would like to see that, what you can do, you can also open this performance analyzer pane and here you can just say start recording. That means whenever you are going to refresh your visualizations over here, now you would find time over here. For example, here, over here you can see the direct query. In general, whenever you are querying a big data or huge amount of data through direct query, it can take a lot of time. And in order to apply changes into your visualization, you have to wait to load that data. And sometimes it becomes so frustrating that you really don't want to work with that. So in those scenarios, under optimized ribbon, there's pause visualization. You can simply click on that. And that means now your visualizations have been paused. They are in pending state. If you would like to add any more category, you can easily do that. For example, if I just simply select on this one, and now I'm coming under this product table and I want to also add the model name over here. So let me just drag and drop. And now it has been added. So if you go under this visualization pane, you can see the legend is model name. And over here, now you would see that refresh button is appearing. That means now my visualization is under the pending state. So that's how you can utilize it. And you don't need to wait for that query to go over there and get the data. So this is very simple. Now you have this option. Either you can simply click on this refresh or you can resume visual queries. 
So simply click on this and now you can see your data over here. So that's how you can utilize this one. Now you can change the visualization type. So let me change it over here and here it's appearing. That means we first post the visual while we are adding any of the new field over here and then you can again refresh the visual. You can also utilize this refresh visual button. For example, now in this visualization, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to first pause my visuals. So I have paused it. That means all the visuals have been paused. There's no queries gonna go to my database and it's not gonna take any more time. Now I'm gonna select this visualization over here, which is total sales by date. And I would like to add one more field over here. So now what I have done, I have added this as well as total order quantity and you would see, notice over here that this visualization is not changing at all. Let me minimize this one. And there's no total order quantity as of now. However, I have already added on secondary axis. So what you can do, you can simply click on this refresh visuals or you can click over here, resume visual queries or you can refresh over here. So you have all the options. So I'm gonna select on this refresh visuals and over here you can see that my total sales and total order quantity by date are appearing on this visualization. So this was all about paused visual, refresh visuals under optimized ribbon. You can definitely use them while you are working with the storage mode as a direct query. All right, now I'm gonna resume my visual queries and it's gonna work fine. There are few things that you need to consider while working with the visuals in the pending state. So let's check out what are those. So these are the considerations that you should keep in your mind while working with the visuals in the pending state. Now let's talk about the optimization presets. Optimization presets basically have three different tabs under this one, or you can see three different tools under this one. One is query reduction, another is interactivity, and last one is customize. So you can customize as well, or you can just simply click on this I button, that means learn more, and it's gonna redirect you to a new page where you can learn more about this. All right, so what is query reduction? Well. Query reduction is going to turn off cross highlighting and cross filtering and adds an apply button to slices. Usually it is best for your direct query connections. So if you're gonna click on this one, it's gonna say your report is optimized for query reduction. So you can click simply got it. By selecting this one, you should remember that it's going to turn off all the cross highlighting and cross filtering. And also it's gonna add one apply button to the slices. Right now I don't have any slicer over there, so that's why you cannot see, but let's add one slicer over here. So I have added right now one slicer. Now, since I have already selected this query reduction, that's how this apply button is coming over here. So now with the help of this, you can only apply when you want to apply the changes. For example, you select this, and you can say simply apply so only then it's going to apply so that is how your query reduction works all right let me just uncheck this one and i don't want now query reduction i want to work on interactivity mode so please click on this and select this interactivity mode once you select the interactivity mode what it's going to do it's going to allow cross highlighting cross filtering and real-time changes to the slices and the filters Earlier, you have to click on that apply button over here. Only then you can do that because we were using query reduction. That is very helpful when you are using your storage mode as direct query. Otherwise, you have to send the query again and again, and it can be time consuming and not optimized in terms of performance. Now, since we have discussed two options, that means query reduction and interactivity. Now let's talk about the third option that is customize. As soon as I'm gonna click on this customize, it's gonna open a new dialog pane. Over here, you can customize the query reduction option according to you. What do you really want to do? Whether you want to apply the instant slicer changes or you want to add an apply button to each slicer. Same for the filters pane. Whether you want to do instantly apply basic filter changes or you want to add apply button to all basic filters or you want to add a single apply button. Everything is up to you. 
So whenever you are working with the storage mode as direct query, I'm repeating that again and again so that you can understand that this optimized ribbon is really helpful when you are working with the direct query. You don't need to complain to Microsoft or to anyone that, okay, it's taking a lot of amount of time or visuals are not loading the data, etc. You actually don't need to do that because over here, you have all the options now with you. You can make your changes and then simply you can hit on the refresh button or you can resume all the pending queries over there. So this was everything about the new optimized ribbon. Please do remember that this feature is still in preview. And if you have any suggestion or anything, please don't forget to send your feedback to the Microsoft Power BI team. Now, I hope that you have full understanding about the optimized ribbon and also how you can take the advantage of this one. If you have any question or if you have any feedback, please don't forget to let us know. And if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.